As labor rates and land expenses increases in China, automation of factories and manufacturing plants is leveling out the playing field finally for Western countries to bring back manufacturing. Before manufacturing was big in China, it was a country of poor rural farmers. This is going back a few years. But today, China has a large middle class and cities are becoming very, very expensive for them to live in. Nowadays, people are moving to these cities to set themselves up with modern urban lives in the city. This makes a lot of sense. Manufacturing is not an entirely sustainable industry for the future in China. Economic growth that manufacturing has spurred in the past years continues to have a major effect and has increased labor prices to a point where China is no longer as competitive. High land prices in China's biggest manufacturing, manufacturing cities like Shenzhen, which has a higher price per square foot than San Francisco and New York. Manufacturing is becoming less labor intensive every day as robots and automation are starting to be used within these factories and these are becoming increasingly advanced and inexpensive as time goes on. China, a country with one of the lowest labor rates in the world, brought more robots than any other country in the past year. Automation has been pushed in China since 2015 in an attempt to lower the cost of manufacturing. But as the factories become more automated, the ability to bring them back to the Western market starts to increase. With time, the operation costs of robotic, ro robotic factories cost the same whether they are in China or New Zealand or Australia. This could eventually have cost savings for shipping costs and also reduce the dependency on importing from countries like China or other countries in Southeast Asia. This could further advantage the Western world by bringing manufacturing back. Creating more jobs in countries like the US, Canada, Australia and New Zealand.